Well, hello, Darkfish Rally friends. Not long now until the opening stage of Rally Finland. David, great to have you back. Good to have you with us for this one. Thanks, Rob. Good to we be back. We missed you. And Brenton, head of brand, all the way from Seattle. Good to have you here, mate. It's great to be here. Now, David Evans, we often say you shouldn't read too much into Shakedown, but a couple of standout performances this morning, I think, in Shakedown. Esapek Alapi, quickest. Takamoto Katsuka, uh, third on. quickest. Esapek Alapi, he couldn't have been quickest because you pretty much wrote his chances off completely. Of winning, <laughs> of winning, of winning. <laughs> uh, you've got to say, Cole, stellar performance. You can and can't read too much into it. You know, there's, no. this is one of the most, if not the most representative shakedown of the season. So you've got to read that into it. And, you know, he was very quick to point out that, yes, he struggled a wee bit in Latvia on Friday, but after that, he was getting there. Ooh. And he comes here, he knows Finland, he knows the roads, he knows how the car works. OK, he didn't get a full event last year, but he, for me, he's an absolute, he's somebody that we've got to be looking to here. We do. He did also make the point that he was really quick in shakedown in Latvia as yes. well. So, a yeah. uh, really tricky one. But the second driver I mentioned there, Brenton, you know, Takamoto Katsuta, it is more or less his home event. We know he's comfortable on the fast gravel. We know he's had a bit of a difficult season. You know, what do you think it meant to him to set that kind of time and shake down this morning? I guess it was important. I mean, it's got to feel great. You know, he's, uh, like you said, kind of a local now here, and it's got to feel great to come out on the attack, and hopefully he can keep that pace all weekend. He's very much on the attack, but sandwiched between those two, it is, well, I think it's got to be the favourite for the event, Kali Robin Perra. You know, he is only, what, 23 years old, and we say, well, he's never won this event yet. How ridiculous! 23 years old, he's never won this event. He's in the form of his life, David. Two wins in a row. Uh, would you bet against him? No. No. And maybe a little bit. Maybe just a small wager on Sebastian Ogier. So, I, yeah, you'd have 10 euros rather than 20 euros. But, on. you know, we came here last year, Colin. We said that this event is, is Robin Perez to lose. And he lost it. Yeah. Um, I, I think his, his mindset is very different this time. He's not chasing a championship. He's super relaxed. And he just takes no pressure. Mm. You know, he's just not interested. He doesn't deal in pressure, does he? He doesn't. just gets in the car and, mm. and does his thing. And I think the, what we'll see, the difference now is from when we started in Poland. Obviously, he wasn't expecting to do Poland, but he's match fit. Mm. Um, and the rest of the year, you know, he came to Sweden, he missed Monty, he went uh, Safari was round three. You know what I mean, though? Yeah, he's yeah, he's absolutely on the money. Continuity, yeah, continuity, hasn't totally. he? Two wins in a row. Three event exactly. test, straight into the event. I'm no, a little bit of a heater right now. A little bit of a heater. A little bit of a heater. What does that mean? Explain, Brent. Don't multiple use wins in a row. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, multiple wins in a row, you know? And not having that pressure of the implication of doing the whole season, coming off of two wins, he's got to feel real comfortable and real comfortable he's in the car. He's riding the wave, right Cole. He's, he's riding, riding the wave. He's absolutely exactly. riding the wave. Yeah, I don't think you can look much beyond Cali Robin Perra for this one. It is really impressive how he does manage to just, you know extract himself from that pressure. There is so much interest, particularly on, on Robin Perra this year in his hometown in Yubaska. We'll see what he does. Uh, you haven't won it. Are you going to win it this year? Um, that's a good question. Probably we will know it Sunday afternoon, but uh, that that's something we try for sure. I'm uh, confident there will be much more guys in the fight of the win. Um, yeah, road position, if it's raining, will make no difference almost in some stages. Um, so yeah, for sure it will be, I think, smaller gaps and much more uh, guys in the fight. Fourth quickest through shakedown, though, was Sebastian Ogier. We enjoyed speculating about Ogier and is he going to do the championship, David? Well, it all depends on this week. I, yeah, it does. It depends because, as he said, you know, the points difference is quite big, 28 points. There's a lot of points to make up there. But the very fact that he's thinking about it, that it's in his mind, uh, is, is, is a big deal. And I think, yeah, it depends a lot on here. It really depends on Greece. It was not uh, obviously a target that I set it for the season. Starting with doing less rally, especially with the current point system, it's a very big handicap. It's very hard to recover points as the win are devalued a lot uh, these days. So. At the end, uh, 28 points is still, still a big gap. But I'm honest also, if the opportunity rises, I don't say I will not fight for it. Of course, I, I will still fight for it if it's become a target toward the end of the year. So at the moment, I'm still on the focus rally after rally. At the moment, I can guarantee you that there is still not every single rally plan in the championship on the remaining one. But 
I don't know, maybe after this one I can tell you more already if, if there is a reason to change or not. You're absolutely right, David, about the points. and it, He will make that calculation. But I don't think it's just about him scoring more points. I think that calculation will be, well, if maybe one of the other three contenders has an absolute nightmare, because that's yeah. what it's going to take, then that might encourage him. I don't even think an Ogier win here will be good enough to actually no. say to him, I'm going to do the rest of the season and I have no. a realistic I, chance. As he says, the point structure doesn't allow you to make no. those big gains. No. The best you can do on your own is five points. Um, so it needs a, a zero from Thierry yeah. and the big, big score from, from yeah. Seb would pull him right up to within 5, 10, 15 points. Then he's absolutely in the ballpark. With five events left, including this one, uh, he's obviously, it's in the back of his mind. He wants to do well here. He wants yeah, to really com is. continue the rest of the season. If he's talking about it, he's thinking about it. Yeah. We'll see. Let's talk about our other two championship contenders this year, Elvin Evans and Oik Tanak, obviously. Elvin first. David, he, he has some special talents, Elvin Evans, you know, particularly behind the wheel. One of, one of perhaps his most special talents is that ability just to compartmentalize everything. He, you know, and to cut out any extraneous I, sort of distractions. He puts himself in a bubble, he gets in the car and he goes and yeah. as he said, for throughout his whole career, he does his best. He cannot do more than that. We're getting towards the end of the season where you might have to start taking maybe a little risk or two. Is that all within the calculations? Have you planned that out? I don't plan anything, just drive. <laughs> I, I'm, do you know what? I didn't believe that for a long time. I didn't believe it. But I am now beginning to believe that that is exactly what you do. You just go into the stage and do your best every time. And, and not look at the points, not look at strategy or anything like that. Is that correct? That's what you try and do. It's hard sometimes not to get drawn. You know, of course it is. But, uh, but yeah, of course, that's always the target. So is that something you've had to teach yourself, not to get drawn into that? Well, a bit. I think it comes with a bit of experience and habits and that's it. And it's different, isn't it? You know, some drivers have a different approach. Yours is very different, and I guess if it works for you, it works for you. Well, let's see. Tom will tell, I guess, if it works or not. Yeah. You're pretty good at not being drawn into questions. I think great. <laughs> right, what was the word you used to describe Cali? He's on... And a bit of a he's heater. heater. Bit of a heater. heater. If he's a heater, then I reckon Tanak right now is just blowing a... Something that's really hot. A volcano. <laughs> he's breathing he's fire. He's, he's breathing, breathing fire, fire right now, That's sure. what he's doing. Watching that onboard. I think he's happy looking out. really good. Tanak yeah. just now. I like yeah. the look of him here. Yeah. I mean, he seemed like in a very positive mindset when we spoke mm. with him earlier. Mm. And uh, I want to keep saying on a bit of a heater, but he is breathing fire. Looking at that onboard from <laughs> Latvia, it is some of the fastest onboard I think I've ever seen. Yeah. He's, he's got it. He, he's won here, as we said. You know, he's almost local. He's across the water in Estonia. He wants to win. He does. Uh, and he yeah. wants, he desperately wants that second championship. You still get the feeling with, with Tanner. Yes, he's had a win already, but his season hasn't truly caught. Uh, and, and it could do here. You know, he's he's not really had the rub of the green, I don't feel. You know, the, nope. the deer, the deer. thing. Oh. Yeah, you know, that was, that was typical of oh dear. his luck this season. If all of those things start to come in his favour. Yeah. Stand aside, everybody. He's coming Absolutely. through. Exactly. Absolutely. He exactly. is the most entertaining driver to watch. When he is on form, Oik Tanak is just an absolute joy. Oh. Thierry, he will be looking at this rain going, thank goodness. Thank goodness for the rain. It gives him a fighting chance. Not really. I don't, you know, the one thing that they've consistently said, Col, is that it's not... The running order thing is not the not same so issue. Not so big, but for sure first on the road. If he stayed as dry yeah. as it was, he'd have struggled on Friday. No yeah. question. This gives him a chance, and but we know he can be quick. From what he said to us this morning, he's already in the mindset, and it's very rare to hear Thierry talking this way, that he's not all out for the win. Mm -hmm. He's almost accepted podium, second, third, fourth place will do for him. And we discussed again in the podcast, he just needs to come out of these rallies ahead of the championship, even if it's just a point. You know, mentally that will give him another leg up. Uh, he would have expected he's not so super comfortable on these really quick events. He just needs to keep it in the middle of the road, get through this event, get to Greece, then get to CER, Chile, Japan, and, and fight for the championship there. Uh, for me, the other driver I'm really interested in watching this weekend, Sammy Pyre, making yep. his debut in a Rally 1 car. It was wonderful to see Sesk doing what he did in Poland and then in Latvia. Uh, it's a different debut, this one, Brento. He is on his home soil, but it's a different dynamic, isn't it? I, I don't think we should expect what we saw from Sex. We shouldn't expect that from Bayer. Exactly. When we talked to Yari Mati yeah. again today. Say that we, again. Yari 
Mario. I don't know. Love it. Yeah. It's Love my it. American so accent there. Is, is Yari Mario on a heater? He's not quite on a heater, but we'll see. we'll see. We is saw that we saw that on board from, from Goodwood and he was uh, he was yeah. going pretty well. It was kind of a completely different situation and the long term goals are different. He's gonna have more opportunity. Seth really had to push and show at those events and he did. So we'll see. Really good watching him, David. He's, I, you know, I, it's always anyways, good to I don't see think it will, Cole, because I don't think it will. He's, I don't think it will be all entertaining because he will just drive the car. Hopefully, in the middle of the road, take the experience. He knows his future sits in wait around here, so why risk it? There have to be some nerves there, surely, but not so much yet. Yeah, like why I should stress it's just like I'm trying to enjoy it and I'm just excited and. Uh, like in some rallies when it's tough and long competition and tough uh, competition then you just wait the rally to end but so this is the other way around so maybe I don't want the rally to end. The, the one I'm looking forward to, Adrian Formo. Let's yeah? see what okay. he can do. Okay, it's difficult, bit compromised without the, the test at M Sport but still he's yeah. got some speed. He's, he's on a heater. Yeah. He's on a sort of medium heater. Yeah, well, medium heater. He's he had a pretty good similar, time on shakedown similar. as well. Yeah, was he fourth or fifth? Yeah, not a yeah. bad time. He'll so be happy with that. Point, point 0.8 seconds back, which isn't that much over mm. 4Ks or whatever. But. And what he told you, Brenton, was that he's found something. He's found something, and that's always a good thing. You, know, exactly. if you, can, have, you can have a negative shakedown where you'll, you'll actually come away thinking, oh my goodness, this isn't good. You know, the car's not exactly. feeling good. Or you can say, yeah, it yeah. started off like that. But it's feeling better. I found something, and he found something. That's the best way to be, right? Exactly. You know, you to know? say that, to say you found something, it's like a light bulb, and yeah. now all of a sudden you've kind of unlocked something. You're feeling a little bit more comfortable in the car. You got some confidence, and maybe not going for some stage wins off the bat. But if he can be back there, fourth, fifth, maybe even third, you see what happens. It's yeah. uncle's yeah. opportunity yeah. Yeah. on, the, on the front foot, don't you? Exactly. exactly. You're yeah. not defensive. You're, you're optimistic, and yeah, it's a good yeah. mindset yeah. thing. Don't forget, folks, WRC2 here in Finland this weekend is going to be exciting, that is for sure. The level of competition all year in that championship has been absolutely at the top. <laughs> you can't really look further than Oliver Solberg. Pyre is the man that you'd have said if he was in a WRC2 car would give him a really good fight. There are local drivers that can use... Yeah, he met Oh, wait. Honestly, do you want to have a little bet on that or not? No, I'd love to see. Latvala is exciting and it's great to see him. Him and you are a fantastic partnership. Um, but you can't look beyond Solberg. But, uh, you know, I'm saying that and then I'm thinking there are quite a few Finnish drivers, one or two of which we've been told we've got to look out for this weekend. Surprise, if we're going to get a surprise, it will be in WRC2. What are you very much looking forward to this weekend, Brento? Hopefully Unempoya. You know, yes. we've been there quite a bit already, but I'm really looking forward to seeing some of those jumps, seeing maybe a little bit of the rain holding off, yeah. but a little bit of the moisture on the road will keep the dust down for the fans and uh, just give us a little bit faster rally overall. It'll be great. David, anything in particular? I've got to say, my treat will come quite early. Ooh. The prospect of, in the rain, our friend Stefan Henkeler, Steffi, driving the Secto Porsche, the 1968 Porsche 911 through the streets of Vasco, it will be, will be special. Be it's great. We're working quite a lot with Sector Automotive here, sponsors of the event. It's great, you know. And, and actually, Cole, the whole thing. We're here in Finland for the week. It's a special place and a special, special event. Sector Automotive. Don't forget, folks. They're big fans. They're big friends of rallying. So you know that's if there's any reason to get involved with a company, that is it. They're friends of our sports. One, two, three, Brento. Oh. You have no time to think. So I'm going to David to give you time to think. Okay. One, two, three, David. I'm going. Cali, Robin Pera, Sebastian Ogier, Elvin Evans. I'm going to stick to my same thing yes. on the podcast. Cali, Seb, Adrian for Mo. Not a bad one. Cali, Oit, Seb for me. One, two, three. Put them in the comments below, folks. I got them bang on. Oh, yes. For Did the you first call? time. You Did should have mentioned it. I've never mentioned it, but I'm mentioning it now. I got them bang on in Latvia. Which of us is going to be closest here? It doesn't matter. You put your comments below. Folks, uh, yeah, look at that. Look at this. Just as we wrap things up, the legend, you are anchoring. Just strolls behind Mr. us. Mr. Finland himself, look at that. That is the great thing about our sport, isn't it? Uh, stick with us, lots to come this weekend. Some lovely videos. We're doing things a little differently with our video output here. Keep an eye on it, folks. You'll have your usual previews and your reviews at the end of the day. So we'll see you as the rally gets underway and as it progresses here in the roads around you vascular. We can't wait. We'll see you soon.